yeah i welcome you all for another uh, beautiful presentation uh, in this presentation i would like to explain you one more uh, i mean question that is asked in uh, upsc ies 2000 right so this is the presentation number 59 in which we will see this the given transfer function is given like this g of s is equal to k by s into s plus a into s plus b right so the question is in such a way that means that if the controls if the given system is a stable if the given system is to be a stable in such a way that find out what is the range of k or what is the value of k we need to find out in order the system is said to be a stable system then we need to find out what is the value of k for which the system is stable that is the question right that is the question so we need to find out the value of k very very simple question actually right for this this is the given g of s then i will explain the solution part very quickly it is very easy actually right <coughs> if g of s is given directly remember that you need to find out its characteristic equation that is 1 plus g of s into h of s equal to 0 this is the characteristic equation very important step that you need to remember right this is the characteristic equation substitute that g of s value here and remember that the given transfer function is a unity feedback control systems transfer function it is the transfer function for open loop transfer function with unity feedback system actually that is there in the problem so every descriptive part i am not writing here because of the time and then okay it is the transfer function of a open loop transfer function with negative feedback with the, okay with the unity feedback unity feedback so for unity feedback your h of s value becomes 1 then this is the characteristic equation if you substitute the given g of s value in this then 1 plus what is g of s actually it is k by s into s plus a into s plus b into h of s is 1 obviously equal to 0 this is what if you substitute the g of s value is this much and if you substitute g of s value this much into the here 1 plus g of s is nothing but this everything k by and h of s value is 1 equal to 0 and if you simplify further what you will get you know this entire s into s plus a s plus b will be multiplied with 1 then you will get here like this s into s plus a into s plus b plus k equal to 0 that's it that's it this is what your characteristic equation and you can simplify further you can simplify this equation further then you will get actually what you will get you know if you simplify little bit further okay then you will get another form of another nothing but <clears throat> another simplified version this implies s into s what it is s square s into a plus s okay s into s s square plus s into a it is s a into right s plus b into s plus b plus k equal to 0 right s into s s square s into a s a everything i kept in a bracket s plus b is there and i already mentioned there plus k plus k it is equal to 0 equal to 0 right now you little bit further simplify this this can be given as s square into s it is s cube s square into b it is s square b plus s a into s s square into a clear s a s a into s s into s s square a plus s a into b s into a b clear plus k and this is further observe this equation or expression this is order 3 the what is the highest order order 3 it is a third order equation it is a third order equation and further you can simplify this s cube plus right s square s square b s square a in both s square will be there take s square as common then you will get a plus b in bracket 
Yeah, am I correct? A plus B, S square, both S square are there, take out outside, common. A plus B, right? Plus, this is S cube, S square, then S power 1. S power 1 is not this only, this part only, this A, A into B. Plus, it is K, nothing but S power 0, in fact. Because S power 0 value is 1. Therefore, not it is 1 already. 1 is there, nothing but S power 0 is there. S power 0 is 1. This is your final characteristic equation need to be considered. This is a third order expression. This is third order, third order expression. So, what is the order, exp uh, what the order uh, describes? The order describes the number of roots. As it is a third order equation, it has three roots actually. It has three roots. The order indicates the roots of the expression. So, as the highest order is three here, this expression will have three roots. Namely, it is in the form of S only in terms of S, therefore S1, S2, S3. Those three roots can be called S1, S2, S3. But here our objective is not to find out the roots. Our objective is to find out the range of K, to find out the value of K. Right? That is what our objective here. Clear. Now, this is the expression actually. With this, for this uh, expression, you need to form the RH, I mean, root array. You form the root array. What is the root array? I, I will, I will, I will show you that. After getting this uh, expression, now you form root array. Root array. What is the expression? The, that expression I will write here. S cube S square into what is your expression? A plus B S power 1 into A B clear plus K. This is what your final expression no? characteristic equation and from this expression you form the root area. Root area is nothing but you write the element like this. The highest power you write S power 3 S square S power 1 S power 0. You write like this. Now, write the S cube, start from, it is S cube, therefore go to the S cube term. Write the S cube coefficient, so nothing is there, therefore what is the coefficient? 1. If nothing is there, the coefficient is 1. Then, what is the next value you need to write? You ignore the second one, write the alternate next one, means S power 1. What is S power 1 coefficient? A, B. And, I mean ignore the next, go for the next alternative, means the next, next number is 0. Nothing is there. Clear? So, if it, it is S cube, therefore start from S cube, S cube coefficient to write, it is 1. Then, ignore the second one, write the next after this, it is S power 1, S power 1 coefficient is A, B. Then, after A, B, you ignore K, then go for the next. There is no further. Now, further, there is, if anything is not there, you write 0, that's it, 0. Clear? Now, S square. Now, you go to the S square term. What is S square coefficient? A plus B. Right? A plus B here. Then, so S square coefficient you have mentioned. You, you noted down here. Then, ignore the second one. Go to the next number. Means K. You need to write K here. And after that, ignore. What is the next? Next will be 0. So definitely 0. Now, here, what is the value here? This value is nothing but how this value can be obtained here. You know, A plus B multiplied by this AB, take positive sign, minus 1 into K by A plus B. That is the value here. Means, I will write for you, A plus B into AB. These two will be multiplied. Minus, these two will be multiplied. 1 into K, K by A plus B. This entire this entire is the value at s power 1. Means, from the given polynomial, you know, only first two rows will be considered from this polynomial. And after that, you the remaining values, you need to find out, you need to calculate from these two rows values actually, from the values of these two rows. Right? Okay? It is polynomial given in s power 3. If it is s power 4, s power 5, s power 6, sometimes s power 8 will be also given. But whatever the order of the equation, irrespective of the given order of the equation, you must write first two rows only from that expression. You consider first two highest powers only. If it is s power 6, 
s power 6 value, I mean starting from s power 6 and then s power 5 only and remaining s power 4, 3, 2, remaining all are should be calculated from these two rows only. You do not consider the remaining, the all the thing from this expression, no. You must consider the first two rows values from the given exponential uh, expression and then remaining value can be calculated from this two rows by using these two elements of these two rows. I think you understood this, how this calculated. This is the first element. This is the first column, second column, third column. This is the first row, second row, third row, like that. This is the first column. First column, this is the first element. Then what is this element here then? What is this element here? The, what is the second element? This is the, in S power 1, this is the first element in the first column. Then what is this second element? So in order to find out the second element, remember that the second uh, column elements, the second column elements will be ignored. The second column elements will be ignored. Then consider the first and ignore the second and consider the next one. Next one, nothing but this one. Okay. Now, if you find out this, if you, in order to find out this value here, ignore this and again same as I multiplied here. Now, A plus B will be multiplied with 0. Now, your A plus B should be multiplied with 0 and again 1 is multiplied with 0 here. Therefore, A plus B into 0, 0 minus 1 into 0, 0 by A plus B. This first element will be, comes in the denominator. Clear? A plus B into 0 minus 1 into 0 by A plus B. Means in numerator, 0 will come, no? 0 by A plus B, 0. Therefore, this element will be 0. Means your second element will be 0 here. And what will be the S power 1? I mean S power 0. S power 0, remember that. S power 0 is nothing but obviously, whatever the last term you will have, that will comes here. Okay. That will comes here. The same, whatever the constant will be there in the given expression, simplified expression, that k value comes here. Or otherwise, this can be, you can be calculated or you can be determined this value by using the same. Means that this everything, in order to find out here, you can apply the same here. Means this value, now this value multiplied with k, this into this, means this value into k minus this into this by this one. Do here. Do here. What is this? This everything into multiplied with k. The, this entire will be multiplied with k. Means what actually you know? A plus b into a b. It is minus k by a plus b. Clear? This entire multiplied by k means it is multiplied by k minus a plus b into 0. 0 into something 0. So, obviously, we will get 0, no? Therefore, 0. Not required to write that. By, by, what you will get? The same you write, no? By the same uh, amount of quantity. A plus B into AB. It is minus K by A plus B. Where? Right? The same quantity will write here. Observe this. Observe this, means this numerator, the quantity in the numerator and denominator both will be same, no? This and this will be cancelled out. What remains? K. Oh, that is K only. That is what the last element, last coefficient means K. Likewise, okay, now, likewise we have to calculate or you can write that. Now, so the root area, we have formed the root area. From this, now you have to observe you have to apply the RH criteria conditions. What is the first condition? In order to comment on the stability of the system, the first comment is that all the elements of this first column, all the elements of the first column of the root array, this entire thing now it is called as a root array. This is called root array. This everything will be called as root array. Therefore, this is the first column actually. This is the second column and this is the third column actually all the first column, all the elements of the first column of this root area must be positive, means all are must be greater than 0. This is condition. All the elements of the first column of the root area must be positive. Now, our aim is to find out the range of k, no? Therefore, wherever k is there, you consider those values or those parameters only. 1, obviously greater than 1. 1 is nothing but it is greater than 0. 
clear a plus b these are two positive constants definitely greater than 0 because positive values are there no that's why they are called they are you can be assume that greater than 0 because yes there are they are not negatives they are positive only now can now coming to the last one s power 0 k as per our uh, ruth harvitz uh, condition okay the first all the first elements must be greater than 0 as per that your k must be greater than 0 your k must be greater than 0 because all elements must be greater than 0 as per that rule your k value must be greater than 0 that is one condition and now take this value take this one because it is involving k here wherever k is involved or wherever k is there we have to concentrate that particular and that particular should be great, equal to greater than 0 that is it therefore as k is there we have already may, made it greater than 0 now consider this means that a plus b into a b minus k whole by right a plus b uh, this quantity what we need to do you make it greater than 0 this implies understood so this particular i am making this particular quantity greater than 0 if you make this as greater than 0 the denominator part goes to right side then this becomes 0 therefore you will not get this in the next step means you will get a plus b into a b minus k is greater than 0 this minus k bring this minus k to the right side then it becomes a plus b into a b greater than plus k if 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 you take minus k to the right side becomes plus k this is the another value for k this is the another value for k what is that a plus b into a b greater than k so one is greater than equal to 0 second is this entire thing greater than k if you combine these two conditions if you combine these two conditions these two can be collectively written as like this these two conditions can be collectively written as like this these two k values that is nothing but your 0 is less than k is less than a plus b into a b understood if you combine these two k is greater than 0 a plus b into a b greater than greater than k if you combine these two therefore these two can be combinedly given as like this right 0 is less than k is less than right a plus b into a minus b so this is the range of k this is the answer for this question range range means it has some minimum value and it has some maximum value therefore the minimum value of k is 0 and the maximum value of k is this one a plus b into a b this is the answer actually for that question if you see the in the question paper four options will be given four options are given out of those four options, this is one of the option is there so this is your answer this is your answer right likewise whenever the transfer function form is given in the question then you need to write the transfer i mean characteristic equation what is characteristic equation 1 plus g of s into h of s equal to 0 right so the given transfer function value you substitute in the characteristic equation from that you bring one polynomial from there you form the root array and from that you made all the first elements of the root array greater than equal to 0 especially wherever k is involved and from that you will get the value of k or other the range of k clear i think you have understood it uh, very clearly I hope you understood it, right? So, I think I will finish off here this presentation and uh, we will meet in the next presentation with uh, many more previous uh, questions from both uh, IAS as well as gate examinations, right? So, thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.